So guys, back again. Thought I'd show you the update. So I'm running the secondary battery just so I have it isolated from my primary battery because I had a few issues because I wired it up wrong. But here's the heater, it's running, it's 56 in here. Temperature set at 15 degrees Celsius. She's running, she keeps the truck warm, truck's warm all the time. All winter, been working perfect. Then you come over here to my buddy's forerunner. Got my Tahoe, I got my fuel tank in there. I don't know if I showed you on the last one. Yeah, I did. Um, so there's my five gallons of diesel. Hose comes out, filter, pump. And there's the power supply. But yeah, I, I got mine mounted out back. I have the unit made to basically customize. This one in this truck is a uh, self-contained unit. They have a different type. It's the same thing, but as you can see, it's running. It's warm as hell in here. He doesn't have a thermometer, but um, yeah, this one's self-contained. It's got a one gallon tank, the wires, there's the air intake, and the exhaust runs out the bottom of the truck. And this one's running as well. Those units cost about the same. They're both great. He's got his muffler down here. I don't think you can see it. And then I've got mine there. But anyway, so I'd give you a little update. I've got four people installed these since I made that video that are my friends and family. Uh, they're pretty fucking cool. It's nice to not have to scrape snow or dick around with it. You just hook it up, turn it on, keep it fueled. It uses about a liter, liter and a half of fuel, which is just under half a gallon a day on high when it's this cold. The most it can possibly use is about two liters a day. So yeah. Should be 